It's not about how much information we know, it's about how flexible we are with the information. Hey guys, what's up? Wanted to talk a little bit about triads. I'm gonna give you some exercises from the sixth string and the fifth string, and also a PDF notated and tabbed, so you can check it out. I'm gonna start with G major, and I'm playing three notes. So I'm playing one, three, five, right? In G major, it would be G, B, and D. And I'm just basically copy pasting that and doing it in three octaves. So G major. G minor. G diminished. G augmented. I'm gonna do the same thing, those four colors, major, minor, diminished, and augmented, from the fifth string. So that will be two octaves from C. So C major. C minor. C diminished. And C augmented. Now, I feel triads are super, super important because with triads we can really express the chord, the changes, but we can also reharmonize. So, except expressing what's happening, we can find other routing going from point A to point B to create tension and release using harmonic, melodic, and rhythmic ideas. If you're practicing these triads, you will not only be able to express the chords and the songs and the changes, but you can also find a lot of new ways to kind of reharmonize from point A to point B. Practice with me. I really recommend doing these exercises every day. I freaking love triads and I would use our friend, the metronome. So I'm gonna put it on 60 BPM and we can do this together. I'm gonna start with eight notes. So I'm gonna play G major, just eight notes, three octaves. One. G minor, three octaves. G diminish, three octaves. three octaves. Great, now let's do triplets. G major, three octaves. G minor, triplets, three octaves. diminish three octaves triplets G augmented triplets great you can do this exercise also in the cycle of fourth from C Etc. Etc. A flat, D flat, and you can also choose random patterns. You can say I'm starting from D major to D minor, D flat, and you can decide different placement that you're connecting them. Find your own variation and find ideas that you like with these triads to move them around to see the fingerboard better. When we're practicing these triads, we really want to be 
very, very honest about the practice and take our time. We want to absorb the information as much as possible. So if we're playing C major tribe, we want to be aware of the root three, five, right? So C, E, G, I think about Do, Mi, Sol. So again, I try to think about the notes and be as aware as I can to where things are on the fingerboard. So, you know, if I want to think about the note C, so I want to see it all across the guitar as much as possible. So when I'm playing the triad, I want to be flexible. Again, a lot of times it's not about how much information we know, it's about how flexible we are with the information. So if I have only one position and one fingering, it might be a little limiting. But if I'm practicing C major from the fifth string and from the sixth string and trying to see it in different ways, then I can really see C major. Then it's also not a problem to play C minor because it's one note different, or an approach note to these ideas. All right, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for taking the time. I hope you are well these crazy, crazy wild days. I'll try to post more stuff and please click on the PDF in the description and get your uh, info. Please subscribe, please share it to someone that, that might be helpful for her or him.